So we are back to Stellaris as the British Empire. Now if you look at the date and you look at the galactic map, let me get rid of this, you will see that, holy crap, a lot of things have changed. And I have to say that, yeah, I mean, nine years have gone by. And while the map has changed and we've certainly been researching a whole lot of technology, this really needed to happen so we could progress to a point where some interesting stuff was happening. I mainly built up everything. I mean, we have done all the um, sort of building we can do on like per solar region, solar system. There we go. Definitely built up our planets quite a bit. Um, and our military. Oh, our military. Look at this. They're not even fully upgraded. and They will be upgraded soon. Well, relatively. As you can see, that's taking by quite slowly. So it's going to be a while. However, if you look at this. They want to declare war on the Fourth Reich. And you see, that's good and all. But they're going to take everything from themselves. And if you want to see what they're going to take... Let's... There we go. They're going to be taking Pultron, Og, Tau Signi, and then Gestern. So those three. They're going to be taking them all for themselves. And I don't understand why the Confederation of Neverite Systems would want that. But this is the part where I dip. I'm out of here. Screw you guys. I started it, but I will not be a part of it any longer. Wait, did they move their capital? No, it's still there. And so to, for this... For this, to this. Oh, jeez. I want to stop the upgrade. How do I stop the upgrade? Do we go to Earth? Yep. Okay, we are stopping the upgrade. And like I said, these ships are magnificent. But, and I actually did change up the ship designer. And actually, all these Isabella classes are actually like the extremely old ones that we had since the start of the game. And those 22 are also old ones, and the four ones are the only ones that are current. But the ones that we were going to go with were going to be entirely new, basically. Just like torpedo ships for our corvettes, with they're mainly defensive and are supposed to hang back. And I, was, I made it so that while they did technically less damage than their uh, older version, they had all the three types. They had kinetic, energy, and explosive. And they also had better armor and better shields. So, it would have been a little bit better. But besides that, I think it's going to be alright. So what we're going to do now, in which I, I was going to, I was going to wait until I was done upgrading and then I was going to declare war and give Dissida to the Neverite systems, or to the Confederation of Neverite systems, whatever. Poltronog to the Spulak, the Spuchulak Star Confederation, and I was going to take Pleon for myself, but apparently they don't want that. So you know what? Screw them. We're going to do it on our own. Oh, well, looks like they did it instantly. Alright, well, that marks that we have to do it too. So they're not going to like us too much. Technically still, still friendly. But yeah, back to the global map. As you can see, we've uh, met some vastly new people. Some of them I haven't even thought of, but man, it is a, it's a different world now. Different galaxy, I guess I should say. So now we are going to um, we're going to do what we do, and we're going to declare war. Um, so this is going to be kind of interesting, because I'm going to go ahead and go to Sethelback over here. And just now, I'm going to go ahead and plop down a wormhole station. Luckily, the only way, because they use Hyperlane, the only way they're going to be able to get to me, unless they go fighting through uh, the Spuchulak Star Confederation. God, that's annoying to say. Unless they go through their territory, the only way they're going to come at us is the Pleone system. So once we get there, which we can get there, as you can see from our wormhole station stuff, um, we should be fine, so let's declare war. This is going to be our first actual war, guys. It's only been, what, I don't know. I've been recording for a while, so I don't know what part this is, but it's probably like part 15, maybe, 14. There can be no negotiation with abominations. Oh, I agree. Um... 
I want to take Leon. Uh, and I would like to. I would like to liberate all these other ones, though. Why? Because it'd be interesting. Liberate. Oh. No. No, no, no. That's all messed up. Ah, uh, shit. Seed. And then I want you to liberate, um, Riamis, yes. Meknasa, yes. No. And liberate Tau Sigmi. And the skid over there, yeah, I, I don't care. Hopefully I don't have to get all of these to actually win. Because that'd be kind of silly, but, uh, alright. Now all we have left to do is rename it to the Royal the Royal Fleet. And I can't spell. No first Royal Fleet anymore, it's just the Royal Fleet. Now we're gonna head on over into a place we've never been before. Both literally and in the sense that we're going to war. We're also gonna need to stop by down there at some point, but what can you do? I don't understand why that's red, but whatever. I'm gonna be there anytime now. Look at that. Whole squad rolling in. Okay. Well, first things first, let's get rid of that spaceport. Let's get on over there. 3.5k strength. We can do it. I sure as hell hope so, anyway. Uh, we should see what's going on in the rest of our system, but first let's let's get some action. Hopefully, we actually roll upon their fleet, because I would like a big space Hostile fleet engaged. battle. Oh, it's a little Hostile bit laggy. Fleet engaged. Why don't? Yeah. System complete. Look at all those torpedoes, man. It's good shit. Adios. Whoa, whoa, no. <laughs> get out of here, you son of a bitches. Alright, first let's uh, get our science ship to continue to do stuff. Uh, sure, looks good to me. Uh, we finished Tropical World Research, the Xeno Zoo. Nope, how about we do Mountain Range Removal? Go back to the fleet. So the fleet is now just going to. Um... Oh yeah, they're worth everybody. We're just gonna siege this place. Um, we are gonna change from light to full. There we go. Sucks to be you. I don't give a damn. Oh look at that. That is gnarly, man. Yo, I've never seen that before. That's so cool. That'll go down in no time. Um, so one thing we kind of need to do, though, to actually invade places is uh, have some transports. But it looks like we can't actually make transports. I honestly have no idea how, how like this whole transport thing works. But it says I have it there. Cowpens class, whatever that means. But we cannot, we can't do anything. I, I have no clue about armies, but we can't make transport, so it looks like it doesn't matter. We have 8% war goal, the human Heron Volk fight. Uh, let's see, Governor Yusuf Barakat has died. Well, why don't we get a new one? Why don't we get leader lifespan? There you go, have fun. All right, with everything, with every, I mean, they're bombarding the shit out of them, so we're going to let them do that. Why don't we start by doing some stuff back home, building a spaceport on Albion, and I think everywhere else is up to level three besides Albion, which doesn't even have a spaceport, so yeah, we're good. Now let's go back here. Still bombarding the ever-living hell. 
out of Fitzroy's world. The problem is that's that's really all we can do. Um so yeah, I guess we just chill there. We can go ahead and destroy this mining station. Yeah, let's go for it. Hostile fleet engaged. Um, so while they're doing that, why don't we go back here? Why don't we build some shit? Situation log updated. Uh, yeah, we can build a physics lab. You know, we're just gonna queue up all these. Screw it. They're so cheap anyway, like, seriously. Should have done this a while ago, but. Now, if we go over to Nova Terra, do the same thing. Oh, I should have looked at that. Cancel. We want to upgrade to engineering facility. Hydroponics. Uh, engineering facility. Clear that shit. Alpha Centauri, and we have nothing left. Okay. Next, we'll do Alpha Centauri and Grand Victoria, and then so on and so forth. I want to make sure that they don't try and snatch and grab. Yeah, they're trying to. Damn, how do you build a transport fleet? I'm going to pause this real quick to see how to do that. I, uh. Yeah, I feel really retarded. You just have to, to like, get an army. It's just like Civ, they just automatically get on the ships. Um, so why don't we build an assault army here, assault army there, assault army everywhere. And we will get them to go ahead and take Fitzroy's world for ourselves. We probably already killed most of the inhabitants, <laughs> you know, no big deal. What is that building? Monument to Purity. You disgust me. Anyway, let's check it out. Oh. Oh, we got a bunch of people dying. Recruit. Sure. It's green. <laughs> and, oh, I heard what we can do, though. So we can go to tech, not technology, we can go to ship designer, transport. We can make these guys more tanky. Which is nice, I guess. Um, looks good to me. Um, yeah, Terry class. I don't know why, but that's what we're gonna go with. Those damn Terrys. Cool. Let's go to Earth. Let's. Bark. Okay. Okay. Now why don't we have you go over to Victoria? And we have the ones in Victoria. Just chill. We need general. Okay. We have not had a general before. Let's see. Army morale, leader experience gain, or lifespan. Well, Hmm. Why don't we go with leader lifespan? That seems good to me. Jasmine Alawi. Looking good. Alright, you two should merge up. And after they merge, I'll send them on over to Pleone. We have successfully landed our troops. As you can see right there. Oh! Invasion, at least of our armies, is involved in an invasion. Colonial garrison. So I have no idea how these uh, how this works, but uh, hopefully we're winning. I don't know if we need more, but it looks like we're destroying them anyway. So hunter killer drone swarms. Oh, jeez. I don't have anything that cool. I'm actually building four more. Um, assault armies, so we should be good anyway, but just in case. And there we go.
go. Enemy planet secured. Nice. That's the first planet I've ever invaded. So that is sweet. Well, why don't we embark all? And we are going to... We're going to send this back to Seoul. No, we're going to send it back to Victoria. And then we're going to send the Royal Fleet, actually, all the way down to Poltranog, down there. So I guess they're bas basically going the same direction. But we're going to have to do the second leg of our campaign against the Fourth Reich in the next episode. So this has been quite interesting. Our first war has finally begun, and we are kicking some ass. We've yet to find the actual enemy fleet, but even if we do, we're going to destroy them anyway. If it hasn't already been destroyed by either Spooks Locks or the Neverites. Anyway, guys, see you later.